Hey, Divine Fam, Divine Masculine. So, obviously, parting, I mean, not parting the deck, but while I was shuffling the deck, Envy came up as the overall energy. Yin and Yang reverse and happy family in the reverse, okay? Somebody is attacking you over and over again. Like, they will not stop something. Excuse me. Confirmation. They don't have to stop. That's the thing. It's a lot of envy and anxiety that surrounds your energetic field. Somebody is playing so many dang on games and they do not even understand what is about to happen to them because of what they're trying to cause to happen to you. You're too close to something. The thinking man in the reverse, you're extremely too close to this door to value. That's really why this person is upset. It's a whole lot of things that have been done in secret to whoever you are and it's definitely not fair, but life ain't fair, right? For some reason, I'm seeing this fall over. I don't know what for, but um, it, it typically does not just fall over during my readings or while I'm here, but I've seen it. Hold on. I've seen it fall over some kind of way. Okay, so I'm picking up on a tower. It's, it's a tower that somebody is about to experience just simply because they will not get out of your business. This shit is monkey. Whatever this is, it's monkey as fuck. Okay, somebody's been doing something in the background and it's all it's got something to do with this man holding the heart. Just understand that you are heavily protected here. This person doesn't have any protection. You do. And it's just like, you just have to keep persevering through something, fam, masculine, whatever the case may be. Somebody is trying to fuck with your money because they don't have no money. They're envious as fuck of you. They're jealous. This is just jealousy. And a bitch can't, they, they ain't gonna, uh, masculine, these niggas ain't finna come tell you that they hating on you. They ain't gonna tell you that they don't like the way you dress, the way you speak and shit like that. They're not gonna come and tell you that they're gonna do shit in the fucking background. Journey, anxiety, rest and rejuvenation. I feel like this person was even given a chance to, I heard, have your position or something like that. And this person fumbled. They choked the fuck up. Or somebody's going to choke up. So somebody could be a rapper. I'm seeing Eight Mile. But see, Eminem, in that movie, it was just the complete opposite. These are a bunch of bullies that's trying to bully you. And they're going to choke up. Oh, yeah, Lotto did choke up, didn't he? He sure did choke up. Eminem choked up first, but in that final battle, this motherfucker ended up choking up. What I said. Somebody is not taking heed to the fucking warnings here. And I'm just truly not giving a fuck about what's about to happen to they ass because my dad is here. The most high God is always going to come in and make sure you have whatever you need. This is not the time to be giving up on your shit. This definitely ain't the fucking time to be, you know, uh, feeling down about yourself or something like that. Somebody is trying to attack your self-esteem. They're doing a lot of beauty magic and shit. All of this shit is going back to them. It's all because this bitch is sitting up here thinking of many ways to bring havoc and chaos into your life simply because somebody loves you. Simply because you're getting your wishes fulfilled. Just simply because somebody loves you, bro. Somebody loves you, baby. Yeah, they do. Recognition and reward. You're getting wish fulfillment and it got something to do with love. Patience and planning. Your person is patiently planning and waiting. I'm telling you. And somebody going to also do something without thinking it through. Like, um, or they're not going to think twice about something. Or this person is not thinking twice about you. Like, they already know who you are. They already know that they want you. What I said, child. Somebody is doing a whole lot of spell work. They're sitting in the background doing motherfucking spells and that shit is going right the fuck back to them. I heard the word hypnotic. Somebody could love hypnotic. Yeah, temptation. That's that's funny how I said that because hypnotic is a liquor. So somebody um could be walking away from drinking or this is something that you're going to be doing. The universe. Or it's something that you need to do for sure. Walk away from drinking or something. It's blocking you from your destiny. Shadow in the reverse. Yeah, so this masculine is doing a whole lot of shadow work or this feminine. I feel like you both are doing shadow work at this time. Somebody is trapped in fear because of who you are in the spirit. I seen 444 and in the physical. You dig a root skill? They're mad as fuck because your destiny is not theirs to live. 
Somebody is thinking to themselves, like, well, where, where's my calling? What is, I mean, you need to figure that the fuck out, bitch. This person don't even have it all the way figured out. Fair masculine, I don't even feel like y'all folks got it all figured out. I feel like you're just going with the flow of life. But see, that's how you end up, what? Walking into your purpose. Walking into your destiny. Walking into your calling. You walk into this shit because you keep going. You don't give up. Even with the obstacles and challenges here. You might have even been afraid, like, damn, where, well, where is this going to go? Or am I doing the right thing? Somebody definitely was projecting that energy onto you, bro. It's because they're in an emotional loss because of their foundation is ruined. But they ruined their own foundation, but it was going to crumble anyway. This is not their person. What in the fuck do these people not understand? These bitches, these damn karmic energies been coming up a lot lately. With this copycat shit. And they're, they're wanting to be you because they want the essence of a divine fucking feminine so that they can lock this man in or something. You giving this man way more power than he truly has, bitch. This bitch is giving this man too much goddamn credit in her life. This person is suffering in silence because you're still moving on in a positive manner even after they kept, what, patiently fucking planning some stupid shit, fuck hell. That's all this bitch knows how to do is plan some dumb shit and it always fails. I just said this in another reading. You're still going to get exactly what it is that you want. Even if you don't want something here, they're discontent and bored and feeling like they lost it all because you're getting something still. I mean, it's yours to have. I'm just trying to pick up the energy on why you should give a fuck about how this person fucking feels about you. There is absolutely no indication in this energy that you should give a damn about what nobody feels about you or what the fuck they want for you in your life. Because these people ain't gave you shit and they won't. The only thing that they have given you is a hard ass fucking time. That's what they were projecting onto you over and fucking over again. And this is nonstop, nonstop, constantly, constantly working on some shit that's not going to fucking work. They can't take your passion away from what you're doing. They just can't do it. Whoever this old hoe is, they can't do it. They just cannot stop you. They do not want you with this person. They want everything in your life to end. This main male is a fucking thief. But see, now all this came out together. Now everything's being stolen from them and everything is ending in their fucking life. This could be your ex, your mother, or whoever the fuck. I don't give a fucking hell who this is, bro. I just really don't. I'm really fucking sick and tired of these people shouting. I don't give a damn who these folks feel, bro. These folks don't have no merit in your life and they damn sure don't got no fucking authority. Your family members ain't shit. These hoes and niggas that were friends of yours, co-workers, whatever the fuck, they not shit. Look, double expectation, mature man in the reverse, and then you got this wealthy man. Somebody is very immature, okay? And there's a few motherfuckers right here, divine fam, that want your attention. You just have to use your discernment, I feel. Just use your damn discernment, girl. With whomever you choose to give your time to. You dig a real skill? Because I feel like, um, I feel like somebody in this energy is just very shysty. Somebody name could be Pooh, literally. Nickname Pooh or something. Somebody is very shysty and they're expecting something that they're just not going to get. They have set their expectations very fucking high. This person is going to prison. Whoever the fuck this is, I don't care. They did some shit and they didn't think that they was going to go to prison for it. I mean, but yeah, the fuck you are. They tried to have a high honor person in poverty, but they're the false motherfucker here. Everything is changing in their life. Everything is ending. And I mean everything. This person can't even sleep. They can't eat. They can't function. I mean, that's the same shit that they wanted for you. Exactly what they wanted for you is what they will get. And it's a sudden change with a housing situation too. Hoes and niggas don't want to give y'all y'all houses and shit. Like I said, bro, these folks is real petty. They're a bunch of goddamn thieves. Somebody knows that something is coming down on their ass. And they trying to get out of it. Whatever this is, this wealthy man's status is changing. Somebody is going to jail, just period. Their whole entire world is shaking the fuck up. It ain't no about to be. It's already happening. This shit is going on right the fuck now. Somebody plays too much. This person has to go to court and pay out millions of fucking dollars to their ex-wife, their ex-husband or whatever. Because they were trying to steal from high honor. But see, it's them that truly has no fucking ranking. Okay, here. This person might have been trying to prove a child was not theirs and the child is theirs or something. I'm saying a nigga spaz out on their baby mama or some shit. Man, y'all better keep y'all hands off these fucking women. Somebody trying to spaz out on their fucking baby mama or something because, you know, 
maybe she's telling his wife or something that she's pregnant. I don't know, but it's something like that. High honor in house. These folks getting their motherfucking shit. Somebody thought that they were going to take something from you. I, I be trying to tell people all the time, bro. When you get your shit, it's going to come in ways that you would never fucking think. And the shit that these people do is just not going to work. What they're trying to do to get out of these situations is not going to work. They're already stuck. They're deemed to be in poverty. That's their destiny. They're doomed. I heard free will. You have free will and range. Double poverty. What the fuck? You got free will and range to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And this marriage is in poverty. Somebody is pissed off because somebody ain't returning messages or some bitch. Get the fuck over it. You're blocked. You don't need to go and buy a new phone. You don't need to go and call motherfuckers private or use your neighbor phone to call this person or text them. Bitch, you're fucking blocked. So he don't want to talk. This girl don't want to talk, nigga. Get your rat ass on some fucking wear, bitch. These motherfuckers right here got double poverty while you have sudden wealth. They didn't think that you were going to get the victory here. You're of high honor. They're not. This person is being wiped the fuck out. And somebody was trying to come to... <laughs> this person right here was trying to come together in some kind of courtship or some kind of agreement, business, whatever the fuck, just to get some kind of money that you have coming in. They're not getting it at all. They're not getting any parts of this. God is doing something solely by himself. By himself. And I feel like... With these hoes and niggas trying to come in and partner with you and trying to get the glory over your fucking life, that is a slap in the fucking face, bitch. Then I say I seen this shit fall over. This is not supposed to fall over. What the fuck? You have a guilt, period. And these hoes and niggas, they just retarded. Somebody wants you to just give them some shit. That's not what's going to happen. Be expecting some kind of unexpected income because that's just what's going on right here, fam. Master. Despair, privileged lady. So somebody is in despair because they can't touch your gifts or something. Somebody wants to literally strip your anointing, your calling, your favor away from you. And this privileged lady is also false as fuck. This is a bitch, a snobby, snooty ass hoe. That walks around this bitch like she's fucking better than everyone else. And they're concerned about your fucking great fortune. Her and her fishy ass fucking mama. I'm sick and tired of this school of fish. What's here? Every bitch in their camp is fishy as fuck. I'm telling you. What the fuck? Y'all stinking ass hoes love doing spell work. Y'all, man. Y'all hoes got no kind of hygiene. You got a spiritual stench that's never going nowhere, bro. Ever. This bitch Dory is getting on my nerves. This whole Dory is uh, irritating me. Somebody named Iris or Isis or something like that. Yeah. Your family members as well. Shirt by scissor is significant to somebody. That's what's playing in the background. Or scissor is significant. Or scissors are significant. You cutting somebody ass the fuck off. You cutting cords. You're cutting ties. You're fucking done. Somebody name is Ty. Amanda. Stacy. Teal. Okay, TL or something like that. Liel, BL or something. This shit right here is real goddamn agitating with this bitch because this whole keep doing the same shit over and over. Sis don't understand that she's just not you. Whoever this man is, I don't even feel like you want this person. I feel like it's several different men here that you uh, could be a good suitor to you, uh, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, it's several different women here. You're not even worried about whoever the fuck this person is. A lot of y'all, you don't even know this motherfucker. What I said, child? You nigga reach you? Look at the page of swords. First fucking car flying out. This bitch is stalking you. They're watching every goddamn thing that you're doing, trying to imitate you and all kind of shit. The Ace of Wands is not for this bitch. The Nine of Pentacles is not for this bitch. The King of Wands is not for this bitch. It's just simple. Anything that they've been trying to send to you, that shit is going back to them immediately is what the fuck I heard. You're walking away. And a lot of y'all, this this person right here, they, they think that you're going to accept some kind of offer. You're going to walk right the fuck away from you. Don't, you're not even interested in whatever this is. They're doing all this shit because they're trying to pick and choose what lovers that you should have in your life. This is all about love with the Ace of Cups. And somebody is coming to you rather quickly. I mean, maybe you might fuck with your person family you might not i feel like that's up to you though it ain't up to this bitch it's up to you and the most high god you've already established a connection with god you had one already but you initiated your connection what i said 
This person is not responsible for a fucking thing. Not for shit. And they want credit for something. They want to be the reason why you had a, a fall. That's not what's going to happen because you're not falling. Bitch, the spring, summer. The fuck is you talking about? The full reverse. Seven of Pentacles. They made a horrible goddamn investment and they can't stand up for the shit that they did. This motherfucker throw the rock and hide they motherfucking hands. But don't even understand that the most high God move boulders and mountains and shit. What I said, the devil energy is not welcome with you. This is somebody who loves to work out or some shit. The tower, this is for this bitch, not you. Or it could be something about working out. Or working out something with this person from your past. I have no idea to my feminine masculine. But look at this goddamn king of pentacles. This person is no longer stuck. These motherfuckers been doing spell work on y'all love life and your money and shit for years. This, this shit has been going on for years. Which leads me to believe this is somebody weird raggedy ass mama. And I don't give a fuck. That's how I feel about this. That's how the fuck I feel about this energy. And it ain't even so much of people that I don't like. I don't like the energy that they hold bro. Because I hate nobody. I don't like the energy these hoes and niggas hold. They hold some evil demonic ass energy. The entities that they ho that they house, I hate. I hate evil. Knight of Pentacles. What else is here? Yeah, this bitch is in a five of swords. Five of Pentacles, this bitch need a perk. This whole head hurts so bad. This bitch head is pounding. This bitch need one, two, three, four, five perks. This nigga need five perks, period. They need this shit, bruh. This person is having so much goddamn anxiety, stress, and it's all turning into excruciating headaches. You could have been having headaches. I heard what goes around, comes around. Look at the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom with the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups has been crowned by the Most High God. You see that motherfucking crown, bitch? And the crown is made of water, but it's, it's, it's emotions. Like this person, this person, man, this Queen of Cups, you ain't fucking with this person, bitch. That's what I'm trying to tell you right here, ho. What I said. Ten of swords. You're the rescue. You're a motherfucking fraud. You are a fucking fraud, bitch. You've been stealing from this masculine, stealing from the feminine. You've been doing spell work on this feminine and on this masculine. This masculine don't want shit to do with your raggedy ass, bitch. This man don't want shit to do with you. The ace of pentacles is not for you, bitch, and you will not be guided to it either. You're trying to steal this person's spiritual guides and everything. Manipulate this person spiritually. Are you fucking sick, bitch? They have a direct connection to the most high. They have an actual connection. You don't. You have to manipulate shit, bitch. You won't be holding this person back. And the people that you thought work with you and fuck with you, bitch, the devil don't even fuck with you. Girl, you are that fucking low vibrational and stank as fuck. The devil running away from this fishy hoe. Don't nobody want to be around that fish, bitch. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Your pussy is rank. That's the only rank you got is that rank pussy, bitch. Fuck is wrong with you, bitch. Three of swords reverse. You will not be breaking the heart of this feminine. Three of girl, you got a three of pentacles, three of swords, three of cups reverse. Bitch, you are not an empress or a high priestess or any of that hoe or a star. Girl, Pisces, fucking um, Aquarius energy, Libra energy, fucking Scorpio energy, Libra energy again. Bitch, you are none of this shit, hoe. You are not any of this shit, bitch. You're just not, bitch. You are not any of this. Whatever you're trying to portray to be to whomever the fuck, bitch, you're not that. You're not a twin flame. You're not any of this shit. And I'm going to come tell you every fucking day that you're not, bitch. You can do as many spells as you need to cast, hoe. But, baby, one thing about it, you won't be playing no roles in this motherfucking film, hoe. Not in this motherfucking, not in this love story. You won't be playing a role in this love story, bitch. So do whatever it is you need to. Knight of Wands, they're rushing, doing something. Somebody is doing something rather quickly to bring conflict, but this bitch is only bringing conflict to herself. Knight of Wands, you're going to feel something be immediately lifted off of you, Divine Feminine Masculine. It's because this whole or this nigga has been defeated. I mean, they've been defeated many times, but they keep trying to come for you. They're simply pissed off about this person. And the people that they were working with don't want to work with them anymore. It's definitely a fishy, aquatic-ass Aquarius here. Period. A stank, pussy-ass Aquarius and her motherfucking mama that refuses to see that nobody wants anything to do with them until they get in a fucking tub. Okay? And even then, this bitch still gonna be stinky as fuck. Stinking-ass bitch. I know for a fact it's an Aquarius. High Priestess here. They're mad at you because you're a high priestess or a high priest and you're the star. Yeah, they have no fucking victory. That's why they keep doing this spell work. You think I'm lying? There's the queen of wands and the fucking magician right there. And that shit is unsuccessful. 
This motherfucker been doing spell work on your love life and on your motherfucking money and spirit said that's the motherfucking truth with the ace of swords, bitch. Look at this death card with the nine of swords. They could not bring an ending to your love life. And it's something about this person not being able to move forward. Like this, this person is not going to be able to move forward because they're too fucking conniving and deceiving. Nobody wants, when people truly find out the heart on this bitch or this nigga, nobody will ever deal with them. Where their heart resides, this man knows, not a source reverse. Now there's this, this bitch is mad. Something just happened like in the last hour. It wasn't the shower though. What I said, fam, masculine. It wasn't this bitch getting in the shower or going to go and see a doctor. It wasn't nothing like that. Something literally blew up in this bitch face. King of Wands reverse. This bitch probably finally came to the realization that this man is truly not going to be there or something. So of course with the devil, the devil just cannot come. This devil energy just simply cannot come. I heard you got the devil protecting you from this bitch. What I said, this bitch right here thinks that she's stronger than the goddamn devil. Child. This person has gotten cocky with spell work. They, they've gotten too cocky with something. The moon card, the emperor, and the lovers. This emperor is only in the reverse, I feel, because he's not active in this bitch life. What I said, Pisces, Cancer energy. This person been trying to stop you for a very long time, but it's not going to happen. Oh, now the bitch want to come with a gun and threaten you. Like I said, who don't, who ain't strapped these days, bro? And get the fuck out of here with this stupid shit. Self-defense. The fuck are you talking about? You just you think you're going to come up on somebody's property. You think you're going to show up at their job. Wherever the fuck this bitch right here feel like she's just going to show up and then just do something to you, man. Bitch, you're fucking crazy, bitch. Who in the fuck is telling you this cocaine, this stepped on badass cocaine that you're putting up your nose is going right to your brain to tell you that this shit is possible? This person only got motivation to try and destroy you and your shit. Because of this fucking man. It got something to do with a man that don't even want this hope. Leo Aries Sage. Virgo Taurus Capricorn with the King of Pentacles. Photo proof. This person may be trying to get some kind of evidence against you as well. Or there's evidence of whatever this person's been doing. I feel like this masculine energy done put a camera or something in the fucking house. And seen this bitch putting shit in his food. Crying over you upset. This is a happiness hater. This this person refuses to see. I told you it's that fishy hoe. This person is all up in your comments. And like I keep saying over and over again, this masculine is not stupid. This masculine is not about to be just in this feminist comments. Or this feminine is not going to be in this masculine's comments, bitch. They know you're watching, hoe. You are the only fucking idiot in this energy who thinks you're not being seen. Your family is here, bro. Somebody's family is on this bullshit. Too busy winning. They're mad as fucking hell. Fuck hell. Who cares? And wanting to start a drama be all because you're winning. Who gives a fuck, though? It's because you're winning. If you were losing, they wouldn't be doing any of this. What I said. Wolf and, she, wolf and she's clothing. This person is also broke as fuck. And they're curious about your finances. And trying to block your finances was a waste of fucking time. This person about to get hit with some real serious ass shit right here. Creativity muncher steals your ideas, copies your work. You're acting cold or whatever this is. And also this divine masculine is acting cold with this bitch because she wants him to give her money. She wants money. He doesn't want this person. Bitch, he doesn't want you. I'm here to tell you that this man don't want you. The cards are showing you that he don't want you. And I'm telling you what I'm fucking feeling like, bitch. This man do not want nothing to do with you, ho. Nothing. You are dark as fuck. You are darker than the devil. A fucking spiritual hater. Like I said, this bitch right here don't know where the fuck they're going. But they're going to have to move the fuck on from you. This bitch been doing this shit for too long. It's time for something to come into fruition is what I just heard. You've been working too hard. This person wants it to make it seem like all of your work is in vain. It's something about your eyesight or something. It's like something being blurry. Yeah, it was this person's last chance. All of that shit is about to be lifted. Literally, the veil is being lifted. Like, oh, okay, I see what the fuck going on now. Or, you know, wow, so that's what was going on. This person, it was their last chance to try to cause nightmares and all that bullshit. Fuck hell to you. Now that shit is happening to them. You got somebody literally that been trying to travel into fucking time to scare you because they're holding a grudge over a fucking man or simply because they want to be you. And like I said, motherfuckers is going to prison. This is also somebody who's always in and out of fucking jail or something like that. Or they may have had your masculine in and out of jail. 
Like, just so that this bitch, this is one of these hoes that'll get a nigga locked the fuck up just to know where they are. What I said, child? This one of them hoes that'll get a nigga locked the fuck up just to know where they at. Long as you ain't with that divine feminine. Girl, if you got to keep them kind of tags on a motherfucking dog, bitch, you need to take, you need to let that nigga run loose. Because whoever their person is, they definitely were a player in the past. I mean, they may have changed their ways now, but this person did this person wrong. I mean, but you, why are you not taking it out on this person? This divine feminine ain't got shit to do with that, bitch. Y'all hoes love running to the woman for something. Bitch, you need to take that shit out on your nigga. In fact, bitch, take it out on yourself for allowing this shit. Because whoever I'm picking up on, you raggedy bitch, you let this motherfucking man walk the fuck all over you, hoe. You let this man do whatever he wanted to do. Why do you think he did it, sis? Why you think he did it, bitch? Because you let him do it, hoe. You are you are the only person that fought for whatever this is. Now here they come with the cyberbullying and stalking. Divine feminine masculine. I just feel like y'all folks are completely unbothered by whatever the fuck this is. Move in silence, dodging bullets. You're dodging bullets every single day because you move in silence. You're not telling nobody your fucking moves, and this masculine ain't the fuck either. This masculine know that they run their own fucking life. And he knows this bitch is played out. Period. This person is, they're just, they're not a boss. They're stalking you. That's what I'm saying. This is not boss energy. This bitch is sitting back stalking you. Somebody really wants you to lose your car. You're not losing your car. That's what I'm saying. Somebody does not like your vehicle or something. I heard they don't like the accessories in your vehicle. Bitch, why don't you go order you some off Amazon then, bitch? Go get you some shit off Amazon, ho. Motherfuckers to tell these hoes and niggas to swag, tell them where to purchase shit, and they still hating on your shit. Because they don't got your shit. They want what you have. Oh, well, mine didn't come and look like that. Man, bitch, sit your dumb ass down. This hoe is stalking the fuck out of you, bro. And they got other people stalking you, too. Always partying. So this bitch right here be out at the club with the rest of the snakes, you know, that they be with, impersonating that bitch. This person be out of the club looking in their phone watching you do shit from fake accounts and shit. Did it hurt you? This shit is just pitiful. And I'm going to call you weird hoes out all the time. Bad nose, bad panties. Like I said, now she wants to fight. Okay? Nook if you buck, bitch. Nook if you motherfucking buck. Especially with whoever this feminine or this masculine is. Girl, you will get laid the fuck out. Whoever this feminine is, child, I, don't, I'm not, I, I mean, I don't say this over and over again. This feminine will lay you out. This masculine will lay your ass clean out to the point where they will have legal issues if they put their hands on you. This person's hands is a license. You are tripping, bitch. You will not be touching this person. I don't give a fuck how many bitches or niggas you try to run up with this person. Baby, this person is a fucking ninja or some shit. This is a UFC fighter or something I'm, I'm reading. This feminine or this masculine is a boxer or something like that. Or they're a trained Marine or a trained um, Navy SEAL or something like that. Or trained military, period. You dig a you? They're trained. That's just period. They're trained. Meaning technique mixed with instinct. What the fuck I said, fam, masculine? Technique mixed with instinct. Yeah, bitch, you're not gonna just run up on this person, ho. Who the fuck even told this bitch that shit right there? I'm trying to figure out who's telling me hoes and niggas that this is cap they, 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 they're capable of this. I'm gonna stutter. And baby, I don't ever stutter like that. What the fuck? This shit right here done pissed me off. Like, bitch, you really still doing this stupid shit? You're about to take a whole ass loss, ho. Your whole life about to change simply because you're trying to change the fate of someone else. You're not a leader. You're not an example. You're not any of that, bitch. You, in fact, you are an example of what not to be, bitch. What I said. This is definitely bad nose, bad panties, and her fucking mama on this bullshit. And they are, they're doing this shit from your past, from a past life soulmate or something like that, or something from the past that they're still holding on to that they cannot get over. Somebody named Courtney. Shauna. What else is here? These weird, whack-ass, weak bitches right here. These hoes won't do that shit in your motherfucking face. They sitting back watching everything you do, everything you be, is what is they the opposite of abundant. What I said, these stinking pussy bitches that ain't got no abundance. And neither do their children or nothing like that. Now they fucking crying. 
And truly deep down, these hoes and niggas wish that they were still your friend. They wish that they still had access to you. They wish, but they know that they can't come anywhere to fuck near you because of all the fucked up shit that they did. So they're still trying to ruin your life. Anything else say that? This is some bitches or niggas from your past. Family, friends, whomever. I don't give a fuck. Or this could be your person's ex on this stupid ass shit. Like I said, this whole group is being fucking dismantled. And it's got something to do with your beauty as well. You're still very, you're even more beautiful. You're going to be even more handsome, um, divine masculine. We, just forget these hoes and niggas. They didn't know who the fuck you was. Forgive them. They didn't know who you was, bro. They didn't know who the fuck you was. They thought that they did because of the physical. Yeah, you're manifesting everything you want. I seen 30, 30. Whoever you are, bro, you are you, you are gorgeous. It's something about your beauty. And these bitches want to look exactly like you. They've been doing beauty spells on you to try to dry your skin out and all kind of dumb ass shit. Make your hair fall out, your teeth or something. These are some weird assholes, bro. And one thing about it, they're not able to... I heard tamper with your beauty. Yeah. They just can't. Whoever you are is in your DNA to be a beautiful ass person. And it's also in your karmic, uh, in your karmic will, the, the karmic will of fortune. And karmic does not mean bad all the time. It's just something that's karma, but I'm using it in a plural way. Karmic will of fortune. You dig a cube? This is in your, it's set for you to be a beautiful, wealthy person. Just period. Handsome, wealthy Whatever the case may be. And you don't need no Migos with you right here, masculine. You by yourself is handsome and fucking wealthy, period. You dig a real shoe? That's just what I'm trying to tell you right here, fam, masculine. You got a lot of people that just simply don't fucking like you all because of the love that you are receiving and the the, the calling on your life, bro. And they're doing this weird, whack-ass shit every single day. They do the same thing every day, and it's not going any motherfucking where. Anywhere. You're not no loser. You're not broke. You're not any of that shit, bro. These hoes and niggas can't be trusted. That's why you let they ass go. Somebody really wants you to go down the wrong way. You're already going the right way. Why would you start going the wrong? Like, you're already going the right way. Nobody should. At this point in y'all life, let me give you some free game. Shit working out for you. You already done spoke to the most high. And he approved of whatever it is you're doing in life. God will send you on a detour if that's what he need to do to redirect you. But he's not going to ever have you just go backwards and go completely off course. If you're going wherever you're going, you're going the right way. When it comes to your destiny, your calling and shit. You did a risk you. I seen 32, 32. When it comes to that, you are going the right way. Don't worry. It's energies like this that keep trying to pull you back into something. And this is the thing. I be trying to figure out how the fuck these people are still so attached to you guys. Because you don't even deal with these people. They're literally in the background doing shit. Literally. So they may have clothing or something of yours. Or something. I don't know. This is an ex. An ex-friend. This is somebody. That's trying to play God in your life. And they're very, very deceptive. For real, for real. Okay. I'm going to end it right here, fam masculine. Oh, remember that God loves you and so do I. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.